Going to have a little noise here now. Yes, we're back in my Jerusalem artichoke bed. <laughs> I've learned a lot, and uh, I think I've shared a lot with you folks from here. Um, but the reason I'm back here today is to talk about something. Uh, these challenges that we face in life, these storms that come up in our life. Yeah, we saw that a couple of days ago. The storms picked up things and threw them everywhere if they were light enough. Uh, I've babied all of these for so long, and they finally coming up. Some of them, some of them I don't think are going to make it. Oh, look, 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 right there. You're seeing it with me the first time. Right there. One of the ones I was worried about, I can see it right there. It's finally coming up. Look, and this one is too. Wonderful. Now we can take out two sticks because these have come up. I promise you, you're seeing that as I just saw it. So now we only have two, only have two left. Uh, we've got that one right there and that one there. That one looks like something's peeking, but it's not. Okay. All right. But the point is, I've babied these. I've given them the best chance that I knew how to do things. They all come up now, except for two. And I have I have a dog who wants to get in a video. Uh, I, have, uh, I have faith that those two that I showed you will make it. And they're even... Uh, uh, that's that's not one, but they'll be sprouting off side shoots here very soon Yeah But that one right there It was doing it was doing just fine and you can look at it and see It's kind of beat down a little bit Well, they were laid over they were mashed the storm The wonderful chance that I gave it The storm brought this over there to it my old knee saver and it laid it down on there. And I didn't notice it till this morning. I took it off of there and it sprung back up. These things are strong, they want to live. So I was able to save that one. The point is, everything's going along fine and boom, something happens to you. And I hope that when these things happen, everybody comes back from them, stay strong. Yeah, I'm pretty happy here. From a long time ago, you remember me putting these scrawny little things in here? Scrawny little strawberry plants. Look at that one. Yeah. I'm excited. Now, life and its storms offers us so many challenges. And I, yeah, I'm leading into something with all this. Look at that. Blew all my bags. I, don't, I won't throw the bags away. I'm going to use those for something else. Lots of challenges in life. Sometimes we start out equal to everybody. Sometimes we don't. We get hit with things. Well, I'm going to talk to you about somebody that, you know, she's got challenges in her life. It reminds me very much of my own now. This is going to get kind of rambly, so I'm going to start focusing here. Um, this ramp, this section of dirt on my property was just a solid it's just it's just solid I haven't dug into this but it makes a nice ramp for me to uh, bring my wheelbarrow down or my, my trailer <clears throat> I can walk down it pretty easy and I was thinking to myself though I want to put steps in there yeah I've been waiting to get my stones worked in here now you see my weeds are high I tell you my place is rough I've got one of those challenges, and I'll tell you about it. Um, but uh, uh, if I put steps in there, then how am I going to roll my wheelbarrow, my uh, trailer through there? I'm not going to be able to. And I got to thinking, what about the people that come after me? What if somebody that comes after me is in a wheelchair? They wouldn't be able to use that too easily. It's hard to use a wheelchair on the steps. So I'm going to leave that as a ramp. It's going to be a stone. I'm going to lay it out in stone. I'll be able to use it. Anyone will be able to use it. And if they've got a wheelchair, they can use it. We have to think about that. 
Um, you'll see my weeds are getting tall. And the dog's getting anxious. I'm going to have to hook her to me here in a minute. But the weeds are getting tall. I can't get out here and do what I used to like I used to. It's a mess. <laughs> I'm taking volunteers here. I used to, I have done going through several sling blades. Can't do it. I had a massive heart attack almost two years ago. Random, about two years ago. Massive heart attack. Now I'm on that extended warranty time, you know. I should have already been dead. But through the, you know, blessings of uh, modern medicine and still thinking that I need a, a purpose here on this world, I'm still here, and what you're seeing now is me continuing that. I lost a big chunk of my heart, and uh, so that's definitely slowed me down. I don't talk about it, um, but just to give you some idea of who I am and what I'm doing. Um, what I'm doing now with my channel and helping people grow and helping make connections with people, that's very important to me. It's these things that will outlast me. And that, that means a lot to me. Um, I'll stop there before I start, you know, breaking up. <laughs> it's important to me, you know. So, anyhow, these life's challenges. I, well, what if you're handicapped? What if you are disabled? I'm not sure what the right word is. But what if you're disabled? Um, what if you don't have that much money? What if you want to get growing now? That's what I'm going to show you about. Um, and a friend of mine, another YouTuber, Elizabeth's Adventures. She's up in Canada. And she takes part in a group that help disabled people farm. It's amazing. Um, she is a sweet, sweet person. She has her own YouTube channel and her own Facebook group. And she's gaining more people to watch her all the time. And I wanted to give her a shout out. And I want to show you a little something that maybe that you can do if you're in a situation. So, like Arnold would say, come with me if you want to grow. I'll see you back in a minute. Yeah, today is about, uh, about those challenges and how you can overcome them. Right now, I'm hoping that this reworked container garden is going to survive its challenges um everything's wilted of course through transplant shock and a bright day i may wind up making some shade for it uh same thing with this I, I don't know the strawberries are pretty tough though they bounce back they bounce back very well um what you're seeing here is something that i have seen in different forms i've seen wooden tables big wooden grow tables that someone that's in a wheelchair can roll they can just roll right up in here right up in there with their wheelchair and work at a comfortable level and garden i have seen people um have some massive gardens like this one beautiful garden and i can't remember uh, who it was but it's in a courtyard setting uh, and I believe it was somewhere in Italy. Um, wonderful lady that has a garden like that. And today, this is not, you know, fully capable of doing that. But I'm going to tell you what, these rocks come in handy for showing me, showing you just a little bit. A little indention there with a table. This is a bread, uh, a bread tray that I know that y'all have seen people come in uh, to the stores with and bringing bread in i found that that's one of a few of them that i found out there on the road and i stopped pick them up used it for many things today that's what i'm doing with that buckets buckets picked up off the side of the road make some wonderful wonderful things and i encourage you <laughs> i encourage you to get you a pile of rocks yeah you know why mm. it's cup holders you got cup, hold, cup holders everywhere on this pile of rocks. And let me tell you something. You can fit so many episodes. <laughs> you can fit so many episodes in one of these babies. Yes. 
Uh, <laughs> got plans though. All right, so let's get to it. This right here. Oh, what was it? Already seven minutes. Now this is ten minutes. It's going to be a long episode, and I've got shout outs to do. Um, <laughs> we're going to take a bag of just this is potting mix. It's a little lighter than potting soil. Um, well, my phone cut out on me. Now uh, the video stopped. And that's my phone's way of telling me, hey, you've talked too much and uh, I'm full. Uh, I've got a full memory card, so I'm going to have to download things. Look at this. Yep, a little isopod. Call them roly polies. How many of those we've kept as kids? Um, that reminded me of a friend of mine, a new friend, a new channel that I'll add to the shout out Crystals, Plants, and Pets. She's into all kinds of things. Go check her out. I know this is quick. Maybe I'll be a, do a longer one. Um, in light of all that, in light of this being uh, not, uh, I can't have it too long. Hopefully, I'll get this finished this time. Um, I went ahead and did this. Got started on it. <clears throat> yeah. I got started on it. I'm going to try to work quickly here. What I'm going to do to plant every day I really want all of these things here. Let's see if you can see them. Suffice to say, um, I want all of this basil, marigold, and sage. I'm going to grow them all in here. Get some started. They all have the same conditions. Get them started way after frost. It's after frost. We're good. Uh, it also says they all like full sun. They're going to get plenty of full sun out here in my outdoor kitchen. Yep. Okay, what else do I want to do? Uh, let's see. We're going to put sage back here in the back. That may be too much sage. All right. We may have some in the front. And right, I'll plant some more of this somewhere else. But right now, you know, we're going to put some sage back here. I've got a little curve there. And just going to just going to spread them out in there. What does it say? Uh, oh, 12 inch spacing. That's way too much sage. I'll fix that off camera. <laughs> uh, let's see, plant spacing six inches for marigolds. Yeah, I'm just gonna, you can't, you can't see everything I'm doing. I know and I apologize. That's about to be over, I guess. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine, <laughs> I made the first half of my video earlier today. I went inside and I called a friend of mine, Will It Grow? I called his video today. He just did a tag video where he answers 14 questions about himself to let people get to know him better. So, he, and he tagged me. He tagged me. And... I don't show myself on camera. I told you I've got a face for radio. And I guess either tomorrow or Sunday, this is Friday, tomorrow or Sunday, and I'm thinking it's probably going to be Sunday now, um, I'll, I'll show you what a face for radio looks like. It's going to take me a couple of days to get this much ugly cleaned up. Okay. Let's see. Plant spacing. Uh, Ten inches. <laughs> 10-inch plant spacing. Okay. Well, I have way, way not enough of that. Let's see. We're going we're gonna to cheat, though. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put two or three uh, that are about eight or nine inches apart, and then we'll, we'll pick the strongest-looking one. All right. Keeping going, going. What I've got here is I have now got some herbs. And I've got some beneficial plants here with those marigolds. I hope they all grow up. I hope I get to use them in my cooking. Um, and what I've got here, this plant, this is called spiderwort. This is a, a gift from a friend of mine named Jim, Crawf Jim Crawford. He's got some wonderful Facebook uh, pages out there. Spiderwort. He gave me that, and it's got some moss on there. Um, and, I, and it also had a piece of... Um, Virginia creeper mixed in with it. And so I've got that growing. 
the old saying of leaves of five, let it thrive. Because it creeps along on everything and covers things a lot like, um, a lot like poison ivy will. A lot of people mistake it for that. Leaves of three, leave it be. Don't touch it. Leaves of five, let it thrive. Let it grow. It's a native plant. It will not hurt you. And it is, there is documentation of people using it to treat poison ivy. And it's uh, most often it's found very close to poison ivy. Virginia creeper is native to America. And what I've got here is one little Crohn's plant from the, um, uh, the greenhouse that I found. And I put it in its own cup. I want it to grow and do good here. And then I'm going to take it out and transplant it probably somewhere else. I don't know. I may leave it there. We'll see how it does. Um, the challenge of who can tell me what this symbol means, that's going to end Monday. I'm going to tell you what that means. It is an ancient aboriginal symbol, probably one of the most ancient, probably the most ancient writing that's been found on this earth. And it means what I am doing right now, what everyone does. We do this. I'm doing it right now with you. That's what it means. Ancient Abor Australian Aboriginal symbol. Little reminder here to let your friends help you. Get in there and partner up with your with your little friends, little buddies, and y'all team up. Your children. You know, that's a, a wonderful thing to do. And it's a reminder to me I made a promise to uh, one of the little helpers in the world to play a little Minecraft. And I'm going to keep that promise. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm over the 50-year mark, and I play Minecraft. I've spoken about that before, and, uh, you know, <laughs> I love it. My children introduced me to it and got me hooked on it. Uh, so you know a little bit more about me that won't be in the questions. Yes, I love Minecraft. I also love cayenne pepper. Will it grow? And I are doing a challenge. I'm going to ask him, or he's going to he's going to help me to grow this in a container. So, John, over at Will It Grow, um, I've got my plant ready. Tell me the best way for me to grow this in a container. I want to do it your way. This is your challenge. I want it to do it exactly your way. So, let me know something on that, and I will follow your instructions and see if I can do as good as you do with your peppers. Um... Let's see, I wanted to do shout outs. I probably ain't got but about 15 seconds left of recording time before it shuts down. Uh, today's episode is dedicated to Elizabeth's adventures um, and the people that help other people. If you've got challenges in, in life, this is going to you, okay? Elizabeth, this today's episode is for you. I want y'all to go check out Elizabeth, Elizabeth's adventures. Um, and I'll leave links to her channel and the organization that's helping disabled people up there in Canada to grow. She's not letting things stop her. Let's see, baddest bees not in there. Maybe a shout out in the future. Um, let me see. I've done said, will it grow? Okay. Will it grow? That's the man that you need to find uh, that's up in Cape Cod. David Hodling, uh, Hodling. Uh, his channel, I, I was going to bring him up later. He is a, uh, he loves to grow uh, hydroponically. He is doing that in his apartment. I'm not sure where he is, but we already have Kristen. You know, uh, she's growing a uh, container garden at her apartment, proving that you can grow wherever you are. David is taking that message further by growing his food inside his apartment with grow lights and then I would assume some light from the windows. Please check him out. This is a real option. Uh, he is he is not a high level expert. I do aquaponics and I'm not an expert. This will be my second year of playing around with it. So he will help you though if he can or point you in the right direction. Let's see who else I wanted to do. Voon Child, girl, <laughs> I so much appreciate you. Uh, so much cooking. It's all cooking. So much cooking. And today she planted something, and I'm so proud of her. She was worried that she couldn't, and, and uh, several of us have encouraged her 
that yes, she can plant and then cook maybe with what she planted. And she's wanted some um, uh, sunchokes. Well, Boone, if you want sunchokes, I will do what I can to send you some up. We'll talk about that later in the comments or whatever. Crooked, Crooked Woods Family Orchard. I am about to send you some mail, sir. Um, the uh, rattlesnake beans that we're going to grow together. That'll be in the mail Monday, along with a couple other things I've got to mail out. A um, uh, new friend of mine, a new YouTube, uh, y'all go check him out. All these people that I've done, please check them out and subscribe. They're great people, especially if you're into what they're doing. Um, he's got a great channel. Voon has already tore my stomach up from hunger, okay? Her recipes are fantastic. Will it grow? Amazing, amazing guy right there trying to help people. I want to throw him all the support I can. And David Hodling showing you how to grow inside your apartment or home, wherever you are. And Miss Elizabeth and her adventures, not letting anything stop her, pulling together people left and right. This is it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yep, it's blinking on me. <laughs> so, y'all be good, and I'll see you next episode.